Hi, I'm Madishu, I'm a professional singer-songwriter and I'm excited to show you all the gear I use to create my music. Number one, acoustic treatment. It's not necessarily gear, but it makes a huge difference when it comes to the quality of your music. I have got a couple of sound panels on each wall and on the ceiling. Each one of them is about 7 to 15 centimeters deep and I actually made them together with my boyfriend. We built the boxy parts out of wooden planks and then filled them up with rock wool and stapled fabric onto them and now they look like this. So if you're crafty and you're searching for a weekend project that would save you a little bit of money, this might be the project for you. Number two, microphones. And as a vocalist, that's the main gear that I use. And the main microphone that I'm using is the Neumann TLM 103, which I have placed on a Neumann TLM 102 Spider because they both work. Then I have a pop filter, which I don't remember which brand it is because it doesn't say it on it. But what you want to make sure when you buy a pop filter, if you want it to last a long Long time is that it has more ways to adjust it rather than the stick because I've had one of those before and it broke really really fast from all the moving it around. Then I'm using a mic stand with a round base and the reason for that is because I don't want the legs of a tripod mic stand to get in the way of my chair and I also really like the round base for stage. I used to have my mic on a mic stand arm that is connected to the table but I just like more what the the round base microphone stand. The second mic that I'm using is an Audio Technica ATM510, which is a dynamic mic and the one that I use on stage. I really like the way that this one is capturing my vocals specifically and how it works with my voice. And it's a cheap mic as well, which wasn't my intention. I did have a budget for it. I just really liked how this one sounds. Number three, interface. I started by using a Focusrite solo interface but I quickly had to upgrade and for two reasons. One, it didn't have a volume button for monitors that was separate from the headphones. So every time I needed to hear something on the monitors, I literally had to unplug them and plug them back in. So that was a little bit dumb. And then the second reason, it only had one headphone output. Right now I'm using the Complete Audio 6 interface, which has two headphone outputs with their own volume buttons and a main volume button for the speakers. And it also looks really cool. Besides all the inputs and outputs and all the other stuff that it comes with. I think it's a great interface. The reason why I needed it to have two headphone outputs is because very often I work with more people, usually in two, and you need two people to be able to hear what you're recording. Number four, monitors, and I'm using the Yamaha HS5 speaker system. They are one of the cheapest options on the market, but I haven't felt the need to upgrade so far. I think monitors make a big difference when you are doing mixing and mastering. And for that, the acoustic treatment would matter a lot and the speakers and everything. For just production and recording vocals and hearing myself back, I don't think I need more expensive equipment. And I'm very happy with their sound. Number five, headphones. I have been using the AKJ K240 headphones ever since I started in music. They're actually starting to fall apart at this point and I am ready to upgrade, but I am afraid to change the headphones with the sound that I know so well and I'm so used to. So yeah, I mean, I guess it tells a lot that I have been using them that long. If you have any recommendations for studio headphones that are better, let me know in the comments. Number six, my guitar, which is a Telecaster Vintera. It plays, it looks cute, it sounds nice, it feels nice in my hands. I'm not a guitarist, I just play sometimes, but I have done a lot of research and I've tried a lot of guitars before buying that one and I chose it because it gives you a lot of options for different sounds and it's a great guitar for pop music. Number seven, I have an Akai MPK mini MIDI keyboard. I would have liked it to have two or three more octaves. I have the one with two octaves, but for the amount of times that I'm actually using it, which is to play some chords or some bass, it's doing a great job and whenever I want to play piano, I'm using my boyfriend's piano, which isn't in stores anymore because it's a little old. Number eight, last but not least, computer with a DEW on it. I am using a Logic Pro. When I started music in middle school, I started 
with GarageBand and upgrading to Logic was the logical way to go about it. I mean, with the DAW, you want it to be as fast and as efficient as possible when working in it, knowing all the shortcuts, knowing everything that it works. And because I already knew most of it from GarageBand, it was very easy to upgrade and just get all the new features and all the professional features that come with Logic. Then let's talk about some plugins that I'm using a lot, which is the Antares Autotune Pro. Love the sound. It's so much better than the pitch correction that comes with Logic. Then I have Sublab X, which is a plugin for 808 bass sounds and other cool bass sounds. And I have the Sound Toys Outer Boy plugin, which is for pitch formatting and pitch shifting. So that's what I use in my studio. I hope this video was helpful or at least good company. And I hope to see you next time on my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.